Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts and I want to talk about iodine. Now iodine is such an important mineral in the body. It's important for every cell to be able to function well. Every cell needs iodine. It plays a big role in terms of the endocrine system. Every part of the endocrine system needs iodine. So more specifically, we think of the thyroid, but every other endocrine organ also needs iodine in order to function properly. So the thyroid, the breasts, in terms of that endocrine system, it's the pituitary system, it's the adrenal glands, the thyroid, the uterus. For males, it's the prostate. So this plays a really important role in terms of how our whole endocrine system works. So you'll also find iodine in the GI tract, the digestive tract. We find iodine in the bones, in the connective tissues, in every fluid in the body. So it plays a key role. So low iodine levels are associated with thyroid disorder. So anything related to the thyroid is related with low iodine levels, but it's also associated with fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. It's associated with fibrocystic breasts. It's associated with um, different cancers, including breast cancer and prostate cancer. So I wanna just go through five reasons why we're starting to see low levels of iodine in the population. So one is that we have iodine deficient soils. So one of the ways that we were getting iodine is through our soils. And because our soils are now showing to be more deficient in iodine, it's making it so that that iodine isn't making its way into our foods, which isn't making its way into us, which which is making us depleted or having low levels of iodine in our body. Another way that we're seeing low iodine levels is because a lot of people are subscribing to the idea of the low sodium diets. And one of the ways that some people were getting iodine was through iodized salt. Now, this isn't the best way for us to be taking in iodine. It's poorly absorbed. It's a really low quality type of iodine, but it was iodine nonetheless. So this was a way that some people were having okay um, iodine levels. And then when we have people having the low sodium diets, their iodine levels just plummeted. Another way that we're seeing um, low iodine levels is that a lot of baked goods were having, um, they have an additive called bromine. And bromine, what it is, is it's a halogen and it competes with iodine for those iodine receptors. And so those that bromine in the baked goods will actually compete with those iodine receptors and make it so that we have a decreased amount of iodine in our body. So we're really getting more of that bromine attached to those receptors. And so the increase in baked goods that include that have the additive of the bromine is actually overall decreasing our iodine levels. And another way that our iodine levels are decreasing is from us drinking chlorinated water. Now chlorine is also a halogen, so it also competes for those iodine receptors. And so when we drink that chlorinated water, it competes with those iodine receptors and often it will win. And so what happens is that it overall will decrease the amount of iodine that we're taking into our body. And this also happens when there's fluoride added to our waters because fluoride is also a halogen. So it also will compete with those iodine receptors. And so fluorinated water will also um, decrease overall our iodine levels. 
So some of the best sources of iodine are from our ocean fish and our sea vegetables. So a diet that's low in fish and low in sea vegetables can also contribute to having low iodine levels. So these are some of the reasons why we're actually starting to see a population have decreased amount of iodine levels in our, uh, in our systems. And the RDA that was created for iodine is really based on trying to decrease goiter. So this RDA, that's what it's set at. So it's really a substandard um, level that's been set. And we actually need way more iodine than that RDA um, is claiming that we need in our systems. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about this really important mineral called iodine. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this information with your friends, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.